tube it, tube it, everybody doing it. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, this is gonna be a painful video blog for me to make. Uh, <laughs> right, I know, I know, lots of my video blogs are painful, but for a different reason. This is gonna be painful because it's a subject I've tried so hard to avoid for so long, and... I know, I know that you have come to expect. I have, well, uh, I have committed myself to rigorous honesty, honesty and transparency. And part of the mantle that I, that I carry as a video blogger is I will I will, I, will, I will give you everything. And you can experience vicariously what it is like to live as a person who just puts it all out there. You don't have the balls to do it. You might not have the ability to do it. You may lose your job. You may lose your uh, family. You may just not be the kind of person that can um, deal with conflict. You may not be a, a fast talker and a quick thinker and, and you might feel that you're bullied every time you try to share your opinion uh, in, in, in public or even, you know, or even with your friends and family and they can just run over you and they make you feel stupid, they make you feel dumb, they bring it up, you know, some little mistake that you made, they'll, they'll, they'll bring it up for the rest of your life and, and, and humiliate you with it and that kind of thing. And so you just don't say anything except hey how's the weather oh yeah man so hey you got a nice car there would you how long have you had that yes yeah, it run good yeah what about the your uh, what about those uh what about the Ohio State Buckeyes man in the it really suck to see them lose that last game after that big long winning streak ha 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 and that's it that's all you fucking get uh because the price that I pay is substantial. However, the rewards are even more substantial. I really feel so free because people that interact with me know exactly who the fuck I am, what the fuck I stand for, and they get to make an informed, educated choice about whether they want to continue to interact with me. I, on the other hand, have no idea who I'm talking to most of the time because almost everybody is a fucking liar. Well, for all of, you know, for all the good reasons that I, that I mentioned earlier. I'm bound by my conscious and I love it, but I realize how dangerous that is for anybody else who's, you know, who has to deal with me. Uh, so for, for the people that still do choose to, to deal with me and hang out with me and comment on my Facebook posts, which is what I'm getting ready to read to you right now, I, I, I really, I, I, I commend them. I, I, I know that it must be difficult. So what am I talking about? Um, first of all, this camera does turn off every 10 minutes, and so I may occasionally just look, uh, just check the time on it. It's been going for five minutes, so uh, I, 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 I may have to keep checking because it'll turn, I'll be right in the middle of something and it'll just turn off and it'll be five minutes later and I didn't realize it and blah, blah, blah. So, okay. <sighs> Duck Dynasty. What I, 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 almost everybody I know thinks that's a hilarious uh, show. I think it's uh, retarded. I, I don't think it's funny. I don't think they're funny. I don't, it's not that I don't like them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, if they were my relatives, my friends, my family, I mean, they seem like good enough guys. But because they're kind of public figures, I, I'm speaking more about them in a public way when I call them dumb, you know, duck-fucking, blah, blah. I, 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 it's, it's not meant to be personal because they do hold the same views and values as many of the people that I truly love. And this is the problem. You know, Cy, I think that's his name, the the older guy, the, the, the patriarch of the family. He made some incendiary remarks, uh, basically just sharing his opinion and the opinion of 
what most people uh, see. Okay, I got to I was raised a fundamentalist, a fundamentalist Christian, in an organization called the United Pentecostal Church. I spoke in tongues. Uh, well, I had an experience of speaking in tongues at 12 years old. I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sins, um, and and I had already received the gift of the Holy Ghost. You know, it's the, that's Acts 2.38. There you go. But with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I, I can remember what I said. I said, Sadi Mataya, Sadi Mataya, Sadi Mataya, Sadi Mataya, Sadi Mataya. I repeated it over and over and over after about uh, 45 minutes of people, you know, in my ear and push. But I wanted it. I wanted it so bad because I had to have that, you know, to get to heaven. I'm not saying all Christians believe this. I'm not saying any other. I'm telling you my experience, okay? It was as close to being in a cult, the way people dressed, the way people acted, the way the way that their lives are, are so insulated. Not all. I'm talking in generalities here. Uh, we, we didn't have a television in our home. We, we didn't go to the movies. Uh, the pastor of my church was the head of the his flock and you literally couldn't visit other churches without their permission i mean it was insane but at the same time somehow my mom and dad i was raised like this my whole life uh, i went into gospel music because i thought i was going to be a christian singer songwriter and i you guys know a bit about that and I, I had some success you know doing that and 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 i went to bible college for one semester in jackson college of ministries in jackson mississippi to study under lanny wolf who was the premier music writer choir director superstar of our of our denomination it turned out that he's a, a homosexual and was, you know, playing around with the college boys. I even slept with Lanny Wolf. I slept with Lanny Wolf. I don't know if I've ever said that in public before. Not just me, but a friend of mine, one of my best friends. We, we slept with him together. I'm not going to say the guy's name uh, because he's a pastor. He is a United... Well, I don't know if he's a... I think he's a United Pentecost... My best friend's are ministers. My brother is a Presbyterian minister. My brother used to be a fundamentalist, you know, a UPC person. Now he's a, he's a, he's a reformed. I don't know what the, he's a, he's a Christian. He, his, his family, they have lots of kids. He's a wonderful, loving, intelligent. He's my hero in so many ways. My wife is a God-fearing woman. My in-laws are God-fearing people. Everybody close to me. I have one atheist friend in my life. One person that I would consider a close friend who is a self-professed atheist. I mean, he doesn't even bother with agnostic. No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a fucking atheist. Other than him. You want to hear about the Lanny Wolf thing, don't you? He wrote a song called More Than... See, the camera just turned off. Lanny Wolf wrote a song called More Than Wonderful... Uh, it was recorded by Lauren O'Harris and Sandy Patty. It made, it made, uh, it sold like, a, I don't know, 500,000 or a million copies. And I was in Bible college. I was, uh, uh, he, he was the, like the freshman class advisor, you know, and I was the pr president of the freshman class. It was a very small school, very insulated. Uh, we had a kick-ass music program, though. I mean, it was the blackest, whitest music you've ever heard, and it was all I wanted to do. It was all I wanted to be. I know, this is all this is all with the Duck Dynasty and Facebook. I'm getting ready to beg you to follow me on Facebook because I don't want a Facebook fan page. This, my channel, my video blogging, I'm going for something deeper here. I want you as a Facebook friend on my personal page. I don't want a fucking fan page. I want to keep this real. And I had a long, and I was going to read you some of it, and I may still yet, if I can ever get through any of these stories. Because see, they're going to just open up and they're going to spill out. I went to Jimmy Swaggart Bible College after I slept with Lanny Wolf and my friend slept with Lanny. We, it was a threesome. 
I went to uh, a Jimmy Swagger Bible College after that, and there's another story that I have never told in public. As a matter of fact, there's only a, there's only five or six people in the world that know about probably one of the most I can't even say it. I can't even tell you the story right now. I, I don't have the confidence to just flip it out there and expect you to understand it. And uh, But of course, I'm going to tell it to you. I'm going to give it to you raw, real, and uh, you know, uncut, unedited. I'm going to tell you. I'm just not going to tell you right now. But it's the kind of story, you know, I, I got kicked out of the Bible college for it. And it's just terrible. It's awful. Uh, not what I did. Uh, I'm not trying to save myself. I just don't want you to be worried. I, 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 I have nothing to be ashamed of about what I did. Uh, but it was a terrible situation, and I got thrown out of school. And that was probably the beginning of my path towards atheism. Uh, I am a self... I, I'm an atheist. I don't know what else to say. Uh... Okay, so you see where I'm going with all this. Duck Dynasty, Christianity, all my friends and family. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> it's painful. And, uh, but... Okay, let me get back to the Lanny Wolf story. <laughs> I can't leave you just laying there with that I slept with Lanny Wolf story. So, Lanny Wolf is married, has kids. He's, you know, at our Bible college. He's the man. He's, the, he's my idol, you know, because he was living the life I wanted to live. <laughs> All except for the homosexual part. And nothing against homosexuals. I'm just not gay I, in any way. Well, maybe a little bit, but, I mean, we all are a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But... Uh, I'm not gay like that. So, I, if I were, I would be out about it. He, what I'm saying is he, he, he's out about it now. And uh, my piano teacher that taught me how to play piano, uh, he's publicly gay. I, I don't know if I should say his name or not, but maybe I, I don't even know if I should say Lanny Wolf is gay. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not trying to embarrass anybody. I'm not. These people are openly gay as far as I know. Uh, but Dana Rowe is his name, and he was my piano teacher, and um, he was he was gay, and or he ended up, you know, I've had you know a, a really personal, beautiful, wonderful conversation with his son, and I I told his son, you're dead. You know, I'm sure he's been cast out and cast aside uh, because of who he you know came out. To be, but he never. Fuck! He always treated me so good, and don't laugh. I don't mean that in a sexual way. He was the kind. He was a kind, wonderful, gentle, loving, brilliant man. That uh, probably still is. And yeah, I don't know how you can deal with that if if you hate gay people. But uh, he never preyed on me. Uh, and and his son says he was a wonderful, loving father and. I don't know, there's this whole thing, you know, gay people are out of control predators or something. I, I don't know, people have some weird ideas. Until you know a lot of gay people, and my store in the short north, I had a, I have a, I, 10 years I had a, I, I repeat, I'm getting more comfortable with repeating little things, because I know almost all of you follow along, but every day, you know, a couple new people show up to the channel and watch my videos, and they don't know all these backstories, so I had a store in the short north, a very gay community, uh, the gay community in Columbus, Ohio, and I was, they loved me. I loved them. It's just, I just never knew so many gay people, and I just, you know, I I just, I was a little bit nervous uh, and afraid from what I, the way I had been raised of what was going to happen, but I was drawn to that community because it's also a very free, uh, loving, uh, tolerant, uh, artistic well, I'm going to say gay people are too. I'm saying the community that, you know what I'm saying? There was like, it was, it was a little, it was a really hip little community and they were just cool people and they bought my paintings and they bought my candles and they supported my 
everything that I did, and I love that community. <laughs> Shit! I'm just checking the time again, I'm just checking the time again. Six minutes and 30 seconds into my second 10 minute chunk. And I haven't told you the Laney Wolf story. I haven't told you that, I haven't told you anything. I haven't read the Duck Dynasty thread that I opened up this camera and started recording to tell you about. I haven't told you about how all my heroes are people that I love and they're Christians. Um, but they're my heroes because they were born into my life. Not because I agree with their ideas about God. In my opinion, Christianity is not a truth. It is an optimistic outlook on a hypothesis. That's what all religions are. They're, opt they're, they're matters of the heart. They're, they're, they're professions of faith. And every time a Christian or a believer, a believer in anything, see, but... Anytime they, anytime somebody professes to believe in something, um, that's cool. It's just when they start telling you how their beliefs aren't really just beliefs; they're truths. You know, it, 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 it you know, and that they're facts, and that's just the way it is. Then it, it, in my mind, it, it needs investigated. And the more investigating I did, the, you know, the less I was convinced there was any truth to any of it. But that doesn't mean that the people that I know, the people that I played in the Walter Eugenes with, the, the... It doesn't mean I don't love them or I don't... I, I, it's so complicating. It's so... They, those, these, the, the, the Christians, because it's the, everybody I know, it's, it's like, it's the community I was raised in, Many, 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 many of those people watch my videos now. And my, the pastor, my former pastor, the last pastor that I had, his name is Chris Brown. He pastored a church right here in New Life. He and I, he's coming over to my house tomorrow morning. I'm going to take a picture of him in the studio for some project he's working on or something. I love that man. Chris, if you're watching, you got fucked over, man. Uh, Chris made some mistakes, and he lost his church. And uh, he had an affair on his wife. And that fucking sucks, and his kids probably hate him for it. And his wife, I know she fucking hates him for it. And he hates himself for it. But it's not God's fault. It's not his, I mean, it's his fault. It's his responsibility, not God, Chris's. And he knows that, and it's just so complicating. People are still commenting on that Facebook thread. I'm telling you, it's epic. It's beautiful. Maybe you should just friend me on Facebook and go fucking find it and read through it yourself, and then I don't have to bore you with it. I just, there were so many points raised. I, 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 I clearly articulated myself because, you know, when you sit there and you're typing and you're thinking you have time to, you know, clear it up and make everything make sense, and I still haven't told you the goddamn Lanny Wolf story. Fuck! Ha. <sighs> Nine minutes and 55 seconds. Watch. It's going to turn off. It's going to... And it's back on again. The good thing is, is I know I'm at 20 minutes now. I know this is turning into a television show. Not a video vlog. I mean, I'm talking about as far as length of time goes. And... See, I've opened the can of worms. This is what happens to me. Because I've never talked about this like this in public. It's just, it's like the floodgates, you know, they're just. Okay, the Lanny Wolf story. So, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to tell this story and I'm not going to do the, I'm, I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to take a couple minutes with this story because it's, it's pretty good. I think it is. And then I'm just going to let it go. Let this video go. And I'll pick up on these other... The Duck Dynasty, Fuck Dynasty bullshit. Uh, bottom line is, is I'm tickled to death that, 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 that they're, re, they're ignorant. What I believe are ignorant views of... of Psy said that bestiality 
it morphs. You start with homosexuality, and it morphs right into bestiality, etc. And I literally, that's all I need to hear. I mean, there is a big difference between bestiality and homosexuality, besides the you know the amount of fur. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate when I laugh at my own jokes, but that's fucking hilarious right there. They just pop out sometimes like that. <laughs> he said that, I, okay, here's the difference, Cy. Animals don't consent, okay? If there's, we don't need any other reasons why they're, it's different, okay? I mean, I don't even want to get into the fact that it's the one of the dumbest. I, I, animals don't consent, okay? Let's just stop. Men consent with other men, and if they don't, it's wrong. Just like it's wrong when a dude rapes a chick, okay? Or vice versa. I doesn't happen very often, but when you hear my Jimmy Swaggart story, you might think differently about that as well. Oh my God, let me, okay. I lost my virginity. I lost my fucking virginity at 21 years old at Jimmy Swaggart Bible College after essentially getting raped by a woman. Um, well, I mean, I didn't complain. I'm just saying I felt violated afterwards. <laughs> and I got kicked out of college. I was, okay, I'm glad I'm laughing again. Okay, the fucking Lady Wolf story. I go to Bible college. What was I saying? I have no goddamn, I'm sorry, I, I, the goddamn, I, I shouldn't say goddamn, that's so offensive. Uh, can I just stay with the word fuck? I love that word. Everybody I know, okay, I'm sorry to, to all of you. I Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for allowing me to be in your lives. Thank you for ex being tolerant of me knowing that the words that I'm saying, that the things that I'm talking about, that the ideas that I don't believe are the ideas that you hold so deeply and that you cherish so deeply and that I cherished so deeply. I didn't, I wasn't just a Christian. I proselytized, which means trying. I tried to convert other Christians to my way of Christianity, not just talking to sinners who are burning in hell, but I would go to other Christians. As a matter of fact, if you guys knew the the level of uh, I have my Christian friends, I had a girl, a woman that I show up at my house the last a couple weeks ago because God told her to. And we talked for a while. Uh the only problem is is God never told her what to say to me. Uh but he did he did tell tell her to come talk to me. And uh she just said he told me but I didn't know what to say. Now she was driving a black BMW and I swear to God, I almost said to her, she's like, God told me that she shows up at the house, she knocks on the door, and there was this is all totally cool. I mean, she's a high school friend. I, we are Facebook friends. We've interacted on Facebook. I just haven't seen her in 25 years. She's awesome. I love her to death. And she, I hope she comes and sees me a lot. I'm not, this isn't, I'm not, this isn't critical. I'm just saying this is what happened. Out of the blue, she shows up, she knocks on the door. Uh, <clears throat> of course, she doesn't know my wife. She doesn't know anybody in my family other than, well, unless she's seen YouTube videos. But the point is, she knocks on the door and says, I'm here to talk to Paul. God told me to. And she's like, well, Paul's working. He's, he's laying tiles. So she's like, where is he laying tiles? So Andrea calls me. Is it okay if so-and-so comes and sees you? And I'm like, absolutely. So I ask Art, can I take some time off? And Art is a, is a hardcore Christian, and Joe's a hardcore Christian. These guys, you know... They love me no matter what. They're, they're beautiful, wonderful, tolerant people. The people in my life, and I just want to keep saying this again and again and again. I love you guys. My buddy Donovan Hill. My buddy Christopher. Uh, there's others, but some of them don't talk to me anymore. But the ones that still do, I love you guys. There's, there's so many. There's so many. I think there's, I think they just, they either pity me. Or they, I don't know why they still hang around me, but maybe they just like me. Maybe they like my honesty. That's what they, you know, that's what some of them tell me in, in secret. Paul, you're, you're kind of, we're not as far, we're not, our, our, our ideas aren't as far away from each other as you might think. But uh, I just can't, I can't talk about stuff like, like you can uh, in, in, a, in a public forum. I, I, there's just too much cost. 
I've rambled the hell out of this video, and I haven't told you the whole story. <laughs> Whoo! Let me check the time. Six minutes and 30 seconds into it. So I got four minutes to tell you the story. This video is going to go over 30 minutes, and I can't. It, it, it'll take me 14 hours to upload, save. I can't go any further. Let me just tell you the story. And I'll continue this stuff later. I have to go back and watch this video and see how many topics I actually brought up and if there's even time in left in my life to to go into them all deeply enough for you know to to, to make them worth even touching on. So I'm in Bible college. Shit, I'm I'm in Bible college. I don't know anybody, and uh, my you know this guy. Uh, this is Google Lanny Wolf Trio. I don't even can you and he's. He's uh, he wrote about he's just he wrote half the songs that our congregation sang and you know he didn't go to my church I'm saying he he's fam he was famous in our circles it's who I, he was living the life I wanted to live he was the you know the director of music at the this is the Bible school that you go to if you want to be somebody in our in our denomination and that's where I went and I left after one semester but uh, I. Uh, I go in to do a tryout, to do to try you know to to sing for for Lanny, uh, um, and uh, audition for for like a select group of like uh, people that are allowed to you know do the solo. He just basically wanted to hear me sing, and then and then I I made it into the chorale is what they called it uh, the choral group. We traveled, we sang all over the country. Uh, but but I was in the this small little teeny group of people that were you know that did solos and 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 that kind of thing. I you know I I I'm not a, the best singer. I'm not a great singer. But you know I I have a decent voice and and I can express myself pr pretty well. And um, I don't know. If I I've just uh, I've I've had favor in in that in that part of my life. So. So we go into his office. There's a lot. There's literally. This is strange. We're at the Bible College. We're in, you know, this like administrative building, small building. And there's a line of people, at least I don't want to say eight, ten deep outside of his door of his office. Now I'm getting paranoid about the time. Yeah, it's nine minutes and six seconds. All right, I'm going to start it. One more. I'm going to give you one more segment to tell this non-fucking Lanny Wolf story. Tube it, tube it. Oh, it's nine minutes and 18 seconds. Okay, well, I'm just going to stop the camera and I'm going to start the next session. Everybody do it. Stupid. 